So lime creep floor is made up of uh, a number of components, obviously aggregate being one, fibre being another, and then the binder we're using is an NHL5. NHL5 is the strongest of the natural hydraulic limes. This is because these floors need to go off more quickly. Flexibility and breathability is less of an issue in this situation, but you need that extra speed of set generally. So these will be blended up in the mixer and we'll take them across and cast the floor. The aggregate that we're using on this is a recycled aggregate. So rather than using virgin aggregates, these, this is an aggregate from, uh, this is crushed up, it's turned into a grading that is, um, is suitable for our purpose. Um, finer than a general um, ballast that you'd use obviously for a, a floor. We can use coarser material for that. But it's a good grading. They provide this in a, in a grading from fine particles to coarse particles um, up to about four mil. So that's what we're going to be using in the floor today. So we, we add fibre to uh, a mix and that increases the flexural and tensile strength of the mix. So generally people add a synthetic fibre like that. Um, works extremely well, comes in a bag like that. You lob the bag into the mix, the bag dissolves and the the, the, these have a coating on them which means they distribute and they don't ball up and it's very well designed and works incredibly well. The problem is you clean your mixer out at the end of the day and you have thousands of fibres which then get washed down the drain or um, float around. So when using synthetic fibres like this there is a risk that those fibres can go down the drain we don't want that. So um, with an awful lot of the materials that we get involved in, there is often a little bit more work involved. Um, as I said earlier, you can get a bag of synthetic fibre, you can toss it into the mixer and it dissolves and it's, with this you do actually need to be a little bit more careful teasing it out. But inevitably you find there are costs to maintaining those values of what you're trying to achieve. And I think we have to accept those. We have to apply a value to, um, to maybe not using plastics for convenience sakes or in these consideration, I think.